let's just do a quick comparison between Windows and Linux servers. This is going to be very obvious for people that are used to running Windows workloads, but for those who uh, uh, grew up on Linux, I just want to make sure uh, you understand some of the caveats of Windows uh, that you might not be used to. So obviously Azure allows you to run both Windows and Linux um, uh, uh, instances or VMs. And so let's just talk about Windows first. So when you launch a Windows server, just like your desktop computer, it needs a Windows license to run, whether it's Windows 10 or uh, whatever Windows server you're using. But I just want you to know that um, when you launch your, your server, you don't necessarily have to have the license on hand. And so if you launch a server without a license, um, all it's gonna do is say Windows is unactivated and you're gonna have to take some manual step to activate that license. And I just wanna tell you that so that you're not afraid of launching a Windows machine because you think you're gonna get charged a license fee. Uh, it's not gonna happen. You have to take some manual intervention to do that. So do not worry about launching that uh, Windows machine. Uh, you can bring your own license via a hybrid license. So some people uh, like in uh, enterprises already own their licenses and they just want to, uh, they already made a deal with Microsoft and so they just wanna reuse those instead of using whatever Azure provides because it can be cheaper. Uh, you're going to set a username and password because you're using RDP to access the machines. So you're not using uh, your SSH key pairs. Um, Windows machines require larger instances. Okay, so if you're running Windows 10 or whatever, it needs a lot more memory. And so you're going to have to run it on a B2, which is a lot more expensive than a B1. And that's because it runs a full desktop environment. All the Windows servers do this. Uh, and so this is generally why I like running Linux. So uh, just be aware not to keep your Windows server running uh, for very long if you don't have a lot of money and you're just uh, learning to pass the certification. Let's talk about Linux really quickly here. Most versions of Linux require no type of license. Uh, so I think like you can get Red, Red Hat, you might need a license for that if you want support. Uh, you set either a username, password, or SSH key pair. You can utilize smaller VM sizes because you're not running a full desktop experience. Uh, could you run um, like a full desktop experience? Possibly, I haven't ever tried to do it on cloud myself. Uh, Unix and Linux based uh, are Unix and Linux based uh, systems traditionally are terminal based environments, right? So you're going to be SSHing into them, and you're not going to have something visual. Okay, so there you go.